Hi, in this video, I want to give you a quick introduction to understanding Fusion 360. So a couple of things to focus on is the difference between this design and the sketching mode, and then also having to look in the browser for where the bodies and other sketches are. So this is important to keep your work organized. And then you'll get a bit of practice using the sketching tools and then be able to extrude your objects. Um, lastly, this is going to follow into 3D printing and laser cutting. So let's have a look over in Fusion 360. So when you open it up, this is what your screen is going to look like. Um, it's, a bit of, it's a blank canvas for now, but so you know what you're going to get to is your goal is going to be something like this. You've got this extruded shapes, these models. And then you also have a sketch of some kind. And the goal is for this project is a little keychain of some sort with some type of name on it. All right. And yeah, so that's what it's going to look like. So understanding a little bit about the, the space for Fusion 360 is first off, there's a toolbar up here. So all these are different tools that you can use, you can create, you can modify. And this is where a lot of this stuff happens in Fusion 360. Up here, you also save and you can have a look back on different files or different designs that you're working on. Okay, moving along over here, there's this view cube. So in this, you can click, hold, and rotate, and then that will allow you to, to move around. You can also click on the different sides, give you the different views, and go back to home. That gives you this isometric view. Same thing down here, there's a, another type of view. So you can use this to orbit click and hold and rotate around, pan, click and hold and let you move it around, okay? Then the last one, this is quite important, is this is the browser. So you'll see in my completed model, I have these bodies and these sketches that pop up. So what this allows me to do is view, I can turn the sketches on or turn the sketches off with this little eye. So see how I can also turn off the different bodies and or turn them back on. This is really important to make sure you're using because it will keep your work organized. Otherwise things get squished together, otherwise you don't know the names of certain things. So it's really important to keep your work organized as your models get more and more complicated. Okay, so let's get started sketching. The first thing that you're gonna do is up here in this toolbar, you're, you'll see I'll go back to the select button sometimes if I need to pick something and it doesn't always work, so I'll go to the select. But up here, <coughs> there's a create sketch. So up here, I will click this create sketch and then it gives me this option to go to these different planes or different faces sometimes as well too. So I can click on one of these and it will give, it will change my view and allow me, turn me into the sketch mode. So notice how my toolbar has changed and now this finished sketch has popped up. So now I'm inside that sketch mode. Remember, one of the goals was that design versus the sketch mode. So right now, I'm in this sketch mode, okay? So to start off with, I wanna do the outside of my key chain ring. So I'll start at this origin, and then I'll click, and I don't even, even I don't have to hold, I just click once, and then I can move my rectangle around how I like. For our sake, I would like you to practice trying to be precise, so, on your keypad, you can type, rather than just trying to get really close, see I can get close to the little dimensions as I move them around. It's that little spot there. But as I move this around, I can get close to the dimensions. So what I can do is rather than trying to just move it, I can actually type them in. So now mine is highlighted on the top left one. And for this, I want it to be 20 millimeters. And then I can press tab and I go to the other one. I want this to be 50 millimeters and then I'll press enter. So then I should have this little drawing that pops up and see how it turns orange or yellow. And you can see that it's correct because it has the 50 and I can click and drag and move these in if I'd like to. So if I want to change, say I wanted to make it bigger, I can do 60, I can click it again, change it to 40, rather than trying to, <coughs> excuse me, slide it around, I can just type in the dimensions that I want. 50, enter. Same thing with this one, 30, enter, okay? But for our project, for this one, I want it to be 20 by 50, okay? So for now, we're gonna do something just to help you understand a bit. So I want you to stop and say finish sketch, and now you'll see that little sketch 
box popped up. So remember, what we're working towards is where there's bodies that can pop up, and then the sketches can also pop up, okay? So over here is now, and we can change our view back, and now we can see it from isometric standpoint. So this is our sketch, all right? Before we move on, I would like you to save your work. So up here, you can either go to File, Save, or you can click on this little floppy disk and press Save. Give it a title, um, Keyring Project, something memorable, maybe your name, okay? And then save it. So now I've got it saved, okay? So rather than trying to draw another sketch, what I can actually do is just edit my existing sketch. There's two ways to do that. I can use this triangle, drop it down. I can hold down Control, click, and go to Edit Sketch. Or I can hover over the top of the sketch, Control again, click, and then also there's Edit Sketch there. Okay? The easiest one for me sometimes is just going over here to the sketches, click, Edit Sketch, and then forms puts me back into this mode. So see, I can go back in here, and now I can change this again to that size, and now I can continue editing this sketch. Okay? So the next steps is I want you to get familiar with some of these, these lines and these different um, drawing options. Okay? So here's a rectangle, here's a line, here's a polygon, here's an ellipse, and really I'd like you to just experiment with some of these lines. All right? The first one that you can use is a circle, all right? So the circle is pretty simple. You click the center of the circle, and there's different ways to do it, but that's the center of the circle. And for my sake, maybe I'll say I'll make it five millimeters big. I can type in the five, click enter, okay? So this is all inside of the create circle center point, all right? The next thing on this modify, just so you understand, I can also use offset. So here's the cho choice. So rather than drawing, I could just click on here and draw another circle if I wanted to, or I can click on this offset, click on the existing circle, and then I can offset the circle. So this is good just practice, and I'm going to do it by 2.5 to just have it offset a little bit, type it in, say OK. All right, so now it's offset by a certain distance, so that's my circle. It's just practicing this modify versus the create. And next up, now I want you to spend some time drawing the different, uh, using the different lines or circles or however it is you would like to, splines if you want, to try to create your, the name or the word that you're working on. So I can just click once, drag this over, click again, drag it, click again, click, and now all I'm doing is clicking this line and it, it will create some type of the shape that I'm looking for. So see, if I went to this, this little green check mark, that would end my line, but I want to keep going a bit, so I can keep going, and then now I've got that line closed. So there's the N, all right? I can keep going and use other types of, other types of um, commands or types of drawings. So this one, maybe I could use, I can use an ellipse just to play around a bit, and then I could use that offset again to try to offset to create this O. Let's say just so we know. Okay, so now I've got the O. And if I want to move these, I can go to that select tool, click on the line, click on the line again, and then literally hold down. Just hold down. It's a little bit tricky with the mouse pad. Or let's try again. Move this. This, uh, for the ellipse, it looks like I needed to move on that center point, but now I can just move things over, and now I've got that, that there too, okay? So I can keep going and keep going. If I want to stop, I can stop, and now I can see here's what my sketch is, and remember, if I want to go back in, I can right-click, go to the select, I can right-click, and I can go to edit sketch, and now I'm back in here, and remember, I can just keep moving these different points around. Okay? Okay? So, the goal of this then is to just keep going along for a little while and you're gonna drawing those lines so by the end you should have something that looks like 
this, okay? So you should have something similar. I'll get back to you in the next video to talk about extrusions, all right? So hold on a minute, stay tight, keep working, and make sure you get those lines finished, okay?